Hey Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Today, this is the card we're going to be making. It's a funny easel card and it's so cute. Um, the stamps that we're using is Music from the Heart and it's in our new mini catalog, which I'm just absolutely loving. I use the Heart Punch and Red Glimmer Paper to pop out my, punch out my heart. So we're going to get started. This is going to be a little bit lengthy, but I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can for the most part. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of white cardstock, which is going to measure five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, but also at two and one eighths. Then you're going to take your black memento ink and you're going to do the little keyboard here. And the top part that you fold over you're going to stamp down a few times. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to cover that for when it stands up. Then you won't see it, but when it's closed like this, that way you can see it. Okay, so this is the trick. You've got that and you've set it aside. You take the largest oval stitched framework that you have and you take a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half black you go over one and three quarter inches and you do a little tiny tick with a pencil. Come down two inches and do a little tiny tick. Then you want to fold, you want to put that part of the oval in that, that perimeter of those little tiny pencil ticks. That's what makes this a grand piano. Run it through and there you have it. You'll have your little corners that you have to cut off that aren't quite straight, but that's, that's the easiest part. And then you'll glue it on to the bottom and it'll go like that. So when it's open, you're not gonna see the keyboard just when it's closed. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere just the bottom. And I'm actually gonna do it on the Whisper White because then I can see pretty much where I'm putting it and where I want it. So when I put it up here, this is kind of what I do. This is hard with the camera right here. So we're going to figure it out together. <laughs> That's probably not the figure out that I wanted. <laughs> so. Okay, like that. So again, when it stands. Now, this is our keyboard. And I'm going to show you on this next piece of paper, which is two and one eighth by five and three eighths. So I went ahead and I kind of laid these out already. You're going to take your white keys and I just put a little bit at the top so I can kind of work it around. And you want to go all the way to the edge, just barely leaving a glimmer of the black frame. And you're going to do that three times. What you're going to need in total is 10 keys in white, and they measure one half inch by two inches. So I just got a two inch piece of white, whisper white, and got my paper trimmer out and started cutting them all off at a half inch. Then you're going to take, which I'm going to show you right now when we're talking about it. This is one and one quarter inch, which is the length of the, key, the black keys. And I used my classic label punch. So I brought it down to where I could feel it stop, and I punched. That's one key, and I just kept going. That's two key, and you keep it in between it, and it keeps it going. So it really works out very nicely. So we're going to do one more white key. And then I'm going to show you how to do the black keys. So now you take your black key, which is... Three eighths, of an, three eighths of an inch wide and one and a quarter long. And you're going to go back up to where those were. There where you can see it. And using the mini dimensionals because it makes it stand up. Now, I'm not going to take the time to do the entire keyboard, but you know what I'm how I'm showing you. So anyway, voila, it's done. So again, we're going to take this and adhere it to the inside of our key, of our uh, card. Can't talk. <laughs> I 
And again, it's just going to have that itty bitty little border. So, and look at there, I really got that one crooked. I don't know if I can take this off or not, but I'm going to try my best. It is driving me crazy. Actually, I forgot to do something anyway. On a little piece of white paper that measures, I think it's, let's see, it's three by two and three quarter, and then you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch. Then I used the statement up here, the, here's, you're the music of my heart, and I used the treble clef, and I stamped off on the red so it wouldn't be too bright and cover up my black. And then you fold it under, which I'd forgotten to do, so I'm glad I had to take this off. And it just kind of helps it stay a little bit better. So now that we've done that, we can... And I really should use my Tombow, but I don't know exactly where it is at the moment. It's here. I just don't have it in my sights. So I'm going to see if I can... Get this to this corner, get this to this corner. So there you go. Now you'll have to clip it up there, but it stands up. So now you can take it and adhere it. So the next thing I did, because it's the music of my heart and it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to put a Valentine on here. And I hadn't decided if I was going to pop it up or not, but I think I am. The more I look at it, the more I think it just needs to be popped up. I've done this a hundred different ways. I've seen several, several examples of this, and I fell in love with it. That's why we're doing it. But I couldn't quite get it to work for what I wanted it to work for. So I had to play with it a little bit. And This is what I wanted, and it kind of came up. And I had some red rhinestones. So I just took my Take Your Pick tool, and I went under it, and I just put a couple around. No rhyme or reason to size or anything else. It was just what I had handy, so. And you only need about three, but I just thought that really dressed it up. So there you go. That's our last card, or our last card. That's our card for today. My last video for day, today is what I was meaning. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to tap the little bell and you'll get all of my notifications. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back with you. I hope you've had a great day. If you want to go shopping in my online store, it's galdavenport.stampinup.net. I would love to have you. If you need any help with anything, if you don't have a demonstrator, and you'd like for me to send you some things, you just let me know and we'll get that taken care of. Thanks again. Have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye.